Hey, what's going on, Gratuitous? Oh, hey, what's going on, BBJ? You ready to get some recording done? Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to spit that fire. Okay, well, let's get it then. All right, right here, let's get it. Oh. I spit the fire, I'll make you retire. Hey, what's going on, man? Like, why do I keep hearing like an echo in my voice? It's like, it's like, well, yo, it's, it's like whenever I talk, I, I keep hearing myself back, you know? It's pretty annoying. Oh, sorry, man. You know, maybe I'll just adjust some settings here just to, uh, you know, make the latency, you know, not as noticeable. Put the buffer size down a little bit. You might hear some kind of glitches and pops, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. All right, here we go again. Yeah, let's get this again. Mm. I spit that fire, I'll make you retire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, like, why is it all, all glitchy and stuff? You know? It's all like... Like, you know, you know can't, can't even hear the music, music properly. There's a bunch of glitches, glitches and pops and stuff. Do you know one thing that really, do you know one, do you know one thing that really bothers me about businesses and stuff like that? False advertising. So if you're new to audio production and stuff like that, you may not have heard of the word latency. So latency is when I talk into the microphone, it goes into like your audio interface, it will go into your computer, it'll do all like its processing and stuff, and then it has to come back out into, you know, your headphones. In that process of you talking into the microphone, it going into your computer, doing all its processing, coming back out into your headphones, there's a delay there, okay? And this is a very known thing in the industry, especially when it comes to monitoring and recording. The latency becomes quite audible and it distracts you as you're recording. So instead of you focusing on what you actually wanna say, you hear a repeated voice coming back, which is your own voice, and it's very distracting, and it kind of wrecks your creativity when it comes to recording. So with this said, what I'm trying to tell you is all these companies who keep saying zero latency or near zero latency, I'm sorry, it's like, there's latency there, and it's annoying. But to those of us who are new in the audio industry, you know, we think, oh, well, we'll buy this audio interface, we'll be able to record, good to go and yes you can record and yes you can get high quality recordings but the latency is there and it's very distracting so then how can you avoid latency you ask with a mixer now the benefits to the mixer is you can route all your audio into here you don't really have any latency at all and then if you have effects on it you could be using reverb and stuff like that but then you don't actually have to record your reverb so you can use it for monitoring which helps us as artists record better but then you can still record your dry signal and you kind of get like the best of both worlds so you get no latency you get effects and then you still get like your dry recorded signal so i'll just give you a little overview of how i've set this up in case you want to set it up to avoid latency because still at the end of the day you're still going to need something to bring your audio into your computer so you still will need your audio interface but you can still monitor and track outside and then just send your audio into the computer okay so first of all obviously we have like our microphone right and then with the microphone it goes into in my case i have a preamp okay you can use the preamps off of a mixer um these are kind of lower grade mixers right so the preamps are a little bit noisier therefore um, getting a higher quality preamp and this is by no means like like a, an amazing preamp but it is pretty quiet and it does give me pretty good results so this one here is an art voice channel okay so it comes from the microphone into my channel strip here and as you can see uh, i'm able to kind of compress it eq it and adjust my levels out of here i would bring it into one of these channels either channel one or channel two and then this is kind of where it gets fun because once you're on your channel strip here it comes down and as you can see you can actually eq it you have an aux and you have an effects you have your volume knob so with your aux and your effects that determines so if i turn this on that determines like if you want to use like some effects such as like you know reverb, chorus, or delays, or whatever. And then if I want to hear the effects in my headphones, but not what's being sent out to my audio interface, then all I have to do is just turn up the effects knob. I can turn up this knob, but as you can see, FX to monitor, okay? And if you see up here, we have a mon send, which is monitor, which is this knob. So the audio would come in, we can adjust its volume here, and then from this monitor send, we just send that right into channel one or channel two of our audio interface. And then to actually monitor our audio, so like let's say like we had like a beat and we wanted to like rap to it or whatever, we would just send that out of like the back of our audio interface. So these quarter inch TRS, those just go to my speakers, but then I have on channels one and two as well, our, just RCA, it comes into the input right here. So tape in, and then I can control that volume with uh, the tape level. So now I can adjust with the headphones. I can just plug headphones in here and then turn up my volume for my headphones. I can adjust my effects and I can record 
and then I can send it right into my audio interface, all without latency and effects, and I still get the dry signal. All right, so there you go. There's a way to get around all like this latency stuff. You will be having to buy some extra gear, but the results are worth it. You are able to record and enjoy what you're doing. But like I already said, like I'm really sick of these companies saying like zero latency or you know near zero latency, but they'll always have like a little asterisk, uh, like you know like a little star right after right after that, and you can read in, like the fine details. Um, you know, latency is a problem. There have been studies and stuff on it. Like if you read online, like I said, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to read what latency is and stuff like that. It is an ongoing issue with audio, but as computers are becoming better and better, it's becoming like less of an issue, but still right now it is an issue. And a way to get around it is to send your audio out into a mixer and then send it back into your computer. So hopefully this video helps you out and hopefully these companies, you know, maybe you start getting the hint to be honest. I spit the fire, I'll make you retire. Whoa, 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 whoa.